Hello, hello, happy Monday. Welcome back, everyone. This is Miss JD for our Monday episode of our daily stock market insights. And this, yes, as usual, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nag like, nag subscribe, at nag comment ng kanilang mga requests. So, uh, I will be prioritizing your request. So for those people watching this for the very first time, uh, you may do the same. Subscribe, like, and uh, drop your comments, requests, para ma prioritize ko din po kayo. Okay? Uh, umpisaan natin. So far, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, around 10, 10, 11 stocks to review. Lalagyan ko po bawat isa ng timestamp para mas mabilis nyo po siyang mapanood at mapakinggan uh, focusing on the stocks you are requesting or you're interested in. Okay? So, yeah, let's start. Um, si Index pula siya ngayon, no? It's red today. Uh, however, I would have to say, parang medyo promising kasi ang liit lang ng candlestick, walang halos gusto bumitaw sa, lalo na sa mga blue chip companies natin. Because we all know yung index, di ba, is, a, is an aggregate performance of uh, all the stocks in um, um, the Philippine market. The, I mean, the blue chip companies in the Philippine market. So, big sabihin yan, medyo the house is divided. Some are on a decline. Some are a bit recovering already. That's why the end result is, you know, average flat siya 0.01% lang yung improvement from uh, last Friday's performance so uh, ang liit no diba ang liit ng candlestick um 50-50 <laughs> yung sentiment ng market uh, especially uh, for these stocks so i would have to say this is still respecting uh, this area of uh, possible support diba but it does not give us, you know, it, it is still giving us that uh, possibility na pwedeng mag-breakdown anytime. Pero preparation lang natin, guys, just in case, ano. Uh, we're now looking at the weekly chart. Kapag mag-breakdown po ang presyo, alam natin na in this area, yung possible niyang lalandingan. Kasi yan ang next na support. At the moment, dito siya eh, this is respecting this area. Ito, several weeks siyang naanjan. Dito meron ka din isa, no? So, those are the key levels uh, on a weekly chart. And, and the dailies, uh, itong dalawang linyang ito yung ating uh, support areas for for the index. But then again, we have to check the individual stocks you have re requested. Most of these are also part of the index. So, titingnan natin kasi ka nga, the house is divided, di ba? SMPH, okay? SMPH, we're not yet safe. We are still outside the Bollinger Band, although this is already the second day na dito sa bandang 3190 siya nagland. So, that can happen. That could start, you know, the possible support. Pero hindi pa yan. It's not uh, representative of, of the performance since nasa labas pa rin tayo ng, ng uh, Bollinger Band. Pwede pang... Yan lang yun, ma stretch downwards. Pero I will still have to. Tingna ko weekly chart ha. Yan. Uh, interesting kasi my support, in fact, sa area na ito. So I had to do a weekly chart para lang makita ko yung overall sentiment. Mas ano kasi, mas stronger yung whatever support and resistance makikita mo sa weekly chart. Yan, kita mo yan. Uh, ito, possibly din yung area na yan. Support. Ito, meron ka din, no? Several, two weeks kang naan dyan. Ito din, isa. Resistance. So, why am I looking at these areas? The more points pointing us in that level would mean something is going to happen there. It could be a possible bounce right there. Right? Kung mag-break down naman siya, pwede siyang magiging resistance. At the moment, pag nire-respect pa niya yung area na yan, pwede siya maging support at that level. So, let us first observe what happens at the 3146 level uh, for this week. Kasi this is just a Monday. Yung linggong ito, hindi pa tapos. So, possibly pang ma-stretch pa babayan within the week. Okay? Abangan natin, guys. Kasi yung mga sinasabi ko, sometimes it doesn't happen the next day. But sometimes, alam yun, it stays in the area. Uh, before it 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 uh, 
materializes but I'm not saying 100% nang sinasabi ko talaga nangyayari. Sometimes when I when I study my videos, I go back 3 4 days prior para mas holistic yung 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 movement. I mean, mas significant yung movement. Um, then I of course listen to my thoughts. Yan ang reason number 1 kung bakit ako nagbi-video. It's it's a time for me to study it as well. So you may do the same you can go back to the previous videos na meron ako. So, anything that you see value in them, then you can replicate. Pero kung it doesn't make sense, just skip that and only apply the best practices. Okay? Pwede kang kukuha ng best practice from me and some other best practices from other YouTubers. Anyway, libre naman yan sa, sa YouTube. Okay? So, yan si SMPH. Steady post muna on the, you know, uh, trying to uh, find its support. So, observe, observe muna. But at least it's giving you a, a chance to buy at a cheaper level. Si AC naman, almost the same, ano? Almost a weekly chart naman tayo, ha? Um, kita nyo to, yung level na ito. High. Nagbaba. Level lang sila, okay? Pero ang downside is that when it recovered, uh lower na siya kumpara dito. So, my fear here is that it might create a lower low, which are elements of a downtrend. Diba? So, hindi natin alam saan siya posibleng mag-drop uh, in case mag-lower low siya. O, dito. Yan ang possible drop niya. Or pwedeng ito. Reason for that is because I see this. So, ipa-plot ko ngayon dyan yung possible uh, drop niya. I remove ko yung drawing. Yan. Yan. Sige. Okay? Nakikita niyo ba? Itong area na to. Oops. Yan. May support siya dyan. Pero ito, high, lower high, low, baka gumawa siya ng lower low dito na area. Pero tingnan natin sa daily. Yan. So, hindi pa tayo out of the woods kay AC. Uh, abangan natin if if the this stock is going to uh, give you a chance at a cheaper level somewhere at the 546 area. Okay? Overall, parang sobrang discounted na rin tayo kasi at 1.900 to eh nangangalahati na siya halos ano pero tingnan natin yung revenue ang revenue niya positive ka ng Q1 positive ka rin ng 2022 may dividend ka pa at nasa murang level siya so you gotta make a decision right there if this is a stock you want to start you know accumulating para pag nag nag recover medyo naka pesto ka na. Okay? Si SM naman. Okay, si SM. O tingnan mo at a glance. Kita mo agad na naka-recover na 'to eh. Na naka-recover na siya at nagsa sideways na siya sa taas. So meron kasing uh, accumulation on the high and the high side. So um Ang, ang hindi lang maganda. Maganda sana 'yan kasi 'yan yung tinatawag na flag pattern. Ah uh, Kung ang volume tuloy-tuloy, as you go higher and higher, mataas yung, yung volume niya. Kaso, ang nangyayari dito, this is starting to weaken. Okay? Paakit ang paakyat. The more you uh, stay at the area, yung, yung RSI niya pabagsak. Alam niyo yun. So, baka lang, you know, bibigay to one of these uh, days. At baka... Ayan, mag-breakdown siya. Nasa weekly chart tayo ngayon. As of the moment, as we speak, nag-hold pa naman siya sa kanyang support somewhere at the MA20 in a weekly chart. Okay? Diyan pa siya. Tingnan mo. Marami kang points kasi na posibleng maging support niya. Ito, previously resistance siya. Support ito. So, pwedeng itong area na to right now is a possible area of uh, support. Pero yun na nga, uh, umakit na kasi to. Nag, uh, nag, ano na siya, nag accelerate and that one of these days possible na mag uh, pa profit take pa yung mga tao. 
So, in case it drops, ang nakikita kong sunod na support would be 861 area. Or 862 area na yan. Okay? Bakit? Ito, nag-accumulate. Dito, may support. Dito, may support ka din dyan. Ito rin, no? So, those are the reasons why I feel na posibleng babalikan to kung ma-break itong 902.3 level. And we're in a weekly chart. So, big sabihin, whatever I see here, mas ano yan, mas stronger yan yung, <clears throat> yung messaging dyan. So, for instance, I say that this could be a support because imagine one week, one week yan. So, yung time horizon dito mas mahaba. Okay? So, abangan lang. Nag medyo hindi pa to ready, hindi pa to hinog na mag dire pa kaya in fact, medyo weakness nga eh, na baka mag profit take GFC GFC also um, this one is a resistance ang daling uh, e, e, basahin nito, kasi imagine nyo ang napaka clear niya dyan yung area na lagi siyang nakatungtong pag uh, pataas ng pataas Pero, tingnan natin. And kaso, red din tayo. So, on the bearish side na ako dyan. So, we're now at the um, daily chart. Okay? Hindi to good sign. So, kung profitable ka na, maybe you can consider locking in some gains. Kasi, nakatawid na siya sa MA20. Ito yung MA20 on a daily chart. We've been respecting that for several weeks. However, for this uh, day, it started to uh, break down in price. Tumawid na siya sa MA20. So, I'm thinking baka may continuation pa baba. So, my, my recommendation here, and still, ikaw, you may, may, may uh, uh, analyze the situation. Kung ang pagbaba niya, I mean, kung ang pag-engage mo sa GFC is for long term, at you don't really mind na magbaba siya, and you can steady pulse lang yung mga existing position mo then you can just buy more pagbaba but if you want to you know budget and you know lock in some gains exit ka use the profit and the buying power that you've uh, exited hintayin mo hanggang sa mag stabilize siya into the new support area now ang nakikita ko kung tutuloy to kasi this is the beginning of you know profit taking day pwede masundan yan eh so, the next possible support na nakikita ko is around 229. Bakit? Si ito. Ayan. Ilang araw siyang nakasampay dyan or nakabounce dyan. Ito din. Ito, medyo weak lang siya pero that acted as a resistance previously. So, ang mangyayari dyan, tatouch niya yan, pwede mag-stabilize muna bago bumalik sa taas. Kung talagang positive yung sentiment. Ito, resistance yan, no? See that? So, inuulit niya, inuulit niya, uh, ganun mag-backtest. Tingnan mo anong, anong kwento sa area na yan. Or maghanap ka sa area na may pag-bounce or pag-resist sa level na yan. That could already be your support and resistance. Very dependent ako, guys, sa support resistance. Robinson's Retail Holdings is next. Okay, nasa green siya, may foreign buying ka. Um, yeah, there could be a few more days, ha? A few more days na lang, and you'll be um, approaching a resistance. Malapit na lang siya, guys. So, kung ikaw position trader, hindi mo to gusto na level, kasi konti na lang yung, uh, you know, profitability mo, yung risk to reward mo. Matas ang risk, konti lang na reward. Uh, but again, hindi na malay natin, pwede pang ituloy-tuloy yan at dumiretso sa 67. Yun nga lang, hindi pa natin alam kung gano'ng katagal yun. So what I am doing right now, yung pinaka-nearest, anyway, we're doing this every day. So mag-request ka lang, request mo, tuloy mo lang to para silipin natin. Okay? So anong kwento dito? Malapit tayo sa resistance. Kung nakikita nyo ito, support yan, resistance to. Since nandito tayo sa baba, pagbalik, magiging resistance yan. Okay? So, pwede pa siyang aakyat. Pero, konti na lang. Yan o, nasa malapit na siya sa overbought level. So, yan ang nakikita ko. Kung profitable ka na, konting, hintay na lang. Malapit na. Pero, kung medyo gusto mo nang sigurado na, edi mag-profit take na as near as, near as you 
weekend sa 59 kasi approaching na siya dyan sa resistance niya. CLI. Si CLI, okay, binabalikan yung dating resistance na ngayon ay support. Okay, MA20 yan po ang nasa gitna. So, previously, each time we hit this area, may resistance na nangyayari. And one day, may magandang volume. This was day one. And this was validated the following day. Maganda pa rin ang volume. Pero short-lived lang. Diba? Binalikan din to. So, 2.58 po ang support niya right now. Pero kung titingin ka sa weekly chart, ayan, medyo tumawid naman na siya. Sa MA20 line. So, weekly to. Hindi pa tapos yung linggo. Malay natin. Nag-drop lang siya sa araw na ito. Tutuloy-tuloy din pala. So, 2.58 support siya. Um, resistance farthest would be 410. That's a double what? A bagger stock pag nagkataon. <laughs> okay? So, I've also re uh, reviewed CLI and like what I have shared, I've seen their projects in Iloilo and Bacolod. Uh, they have a lot in the Visayas area. So, uh, feeling ko ano to eh, um, growth stock. Kung tuloy-tuloy lang yung good performance nila at yung, alam yun, yung, yung good branding nila at masustain nila yung uh, performance nila with the uh, future projects, pwedeng lalaki to. Kailangan lang nila talaga na sustain yan at you know, maintain yan. O, ang ganda ng kanilang ano, Tas din naman yung uh, yield nila year on year. Q2, uh, 2022, I mean, is 35% gain. Q1 is uh, 1.17 billion positive din sila. O, ba? Ganda to ng CLI. Maganda siya. Uh, si REIT, another uh, dividend uh, paying REIT company, pero medyo mataas na siya ha. At tuloy-tuloy pa, tuloy-tuloy yung kanilang ano, pamimigay ng dividend. At saka ang kagandaan is paakyat na paakyat yung dividend yield. O 0,440, ngayon magkano na? 0,470. O, ang bilis, bilis ng pacing ng pag-akyat ng kanilang uh, dividend. Yan. So, personally, nakapwesto ako dito dati. Um, pero nag-exit na ako. Halimutan ko saan part, pero somewhere here yun eh. Either here or here. Um, nag-exit ako. Bakit? I used it. Parang nilagay ko yata sa MY or sa SEC ko nilagay. Hinabol ko din yung isang dividend. Kasi medyo mataas na siya. I find this a bit on the high side. Kaya hindi na ako na bumalik for now. Ah... Uh, Nahawakan ko ngayon, ano, yung mga my dividend would be LTG, Globe, SEC, CM Wide. Slowly recovering, may magandang balita sila, kaso nag-sell on news ang nangyari. Kasi so, I, I, I think, pang, pang matagal ang upuan yung CM Wide. Uh, medyo significant din yung volume ko dyan. At bawi na with the uh, two dividend na natanggap ko uh, this quarter bar, this past two quarters. Ito. Ayan o, oh, kita nyo, grabing sad-sad ni MYD. So, ito'y napakamurang level. Kahit hindi, kahit hindi ko man habulin yung susunod na dividend. Capital gains lang. O, oh, panalong-panalo ka na. At one point, hindi pa nga, ito yung peak niya, 22. So, kahit halfway lang, 10. O, oh, 3, 3, 6... 369, o, oh, 3 bagger ka na. Pag sinabi mong bagger, na double mo eh. Ang 3, naging 6, so madodoble mo yung makukuha mo. Okay, so, um, si MREIT naman. Si MREIT, ah, sa weekly chart tayo. Kaso, second week na ito, na nandito pa rin tayo sa baba ng MA20 line. So, medyo ingat lang ba? Kasi within the week, babalikan niya itong 13.9. Uh, today is uh, just a neutral day. Same, no change. Pero may support ka sa area na where I plotted it. So, ito, so taas ng volume. Pero pa, konti nang nagbibitaw. So, baka 
yeah, baka i-respect niya rin naman yung 3090 kasi kung makikita mo uh, habang na mumula ka dyan, profit taking mode konti lang yun know? konting konti ng volumes ibig sabihin andyan pa rin yung mga yan mga investors na yan pwedeng babalikan nila yan pag mura na babalik sila dyan at papasok ulit RLC RLC uh, you're on the green 13.90 at uh, maganda maganda yung area na to kasi I think you're sitting at a support second layer of support 1332 yan pero sa ngayon um, you know dito may support ka medyo nag uh, starting to engulf na siya dyan sa taas pero just entertain yung possibility na baka interday bukas may mga long weeks ka so ito This, this, and uh, tingnan mo din yung dito. Oh, hindi pa masyado, right? Medyo flat pa rin siya. So, uh, if you're looking for a resistance, short term, nasa 1450 lang. Okay? Diyan ko ipa-plot yung short term resistance, 1450 or 1447. Range trade yung mangyayari dito. Kasi kita nyo to? Yan. Yan yung resistance niya ngayon. Okay. So, let's have our last stock here. RCR. Still uh, moving below the MA20 line. Okay. Ito ang MA20 yung resistance niya ngayon. So, within the area lang din siya. Pwedeng ilalaro-laroin niya tong level na to. 561 to 518.82. In the coming days. Diyan na muna siya. Wala pa. Wala pa akong nakikita. Tingnan ko sa weekly chart. Ito na. Sa weekly chart na tayo. Yeah. Range trade pa rin. Kung magbuelo man patas hanggang dito pa. Oh, may isa ka pang resistance haharapin. 6.07. Ang kagandahan lang of course is yung kaniyang uh, dividend. Pero kwantahin nyo lang pag Ayan uh, o, know, uh, Q2, dalawang beses na sila. Dalawang beses na silang nagbigay ng uh, dividend this 2023. So, add-add nyo lang, 1.63 plus another uh, 1.67. That's already around 3%. Hindi pa natatapos yung taon. So, baka may aakyat pa. Tuloy-tuloy pa naman ito eh. Ay, twice a year lang pala sila namimigay. Ah, uh, ay hindi 1 Feb 2 3 Yeah, every quarter. So may dalawa pa, potentially may dalawang uh, releases pa. So add add mo yan 1.67 plus 1.67. Ah, uh, ayan, times mo average siguro 1.6 times 4. 1.6 times 4. So, that gives you around 6.4%. So, syempre, pag mas mababa na kuha mo, mas ma-maximize mo yung yield, right? So, yun siya, guys. Uh, at least, you know the key levels. Tuloy nyo lang i-request kasi sometimes, yun nga, as I mentioned earlier, hindi lahat yung mga nakikita ko, hindi lahat nangyayari overnight. Di, big sabihin, bukas na yan. There are some that takes a few days to really appreciate what these thoughts are. Okay? So, for now, uh, I hope uh, this video helps and uh, good luck in your trades tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.